And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SK is here with another episode of the Bourbon City Coopers franchise. Hey, guess what, everybody? We've not won a game yet, but that's okay. This is the hardest difficulty. It is the hardest rebuild. We start with a cupcake. We have nobody of significant talent, and that is just the way I like it. Just for that difficulty alone, you should definitely eradicate that like button below, and if you're not subscribed, hit that. Got NCAA football videos coming up real soon, and I apologize for this one being uh, strung out so late. Uh, it t I usually record on the weekends, but there's just been a lot of reconstruction going on at my mom's house. Where, For those of you that are new to the channel, my mom is in a wheelchair, so we're having to redo her house to make it handicap accessible. So a lot of my weekends are up there painting and putting down flooring and things of that nature. So at some of the times that I record... I'm not able to do that on the weekends right now. So hopefully soon we'll get that all cleared up. We can get back to a regular schedule. That is the goal. But right now the Bourbon City Coopers are sitting at 0-6, and, and we've got a good chance to win this game. A beat-up Buffalo Bills team who are sitting at 2-4. and four. We are going on the road, so we're going to head north. Hopefully the weather is still good at this time. I believe it should still be, what, November? So maybe some snow flurries, but hopefully not. But... Let's get on the road and I'll uh, meet you at the field. Ralph Wilson, Wilson Stadium. It's 50 degrees out, so I guess we definitely don't have to worry about the snow. So I'll be okay for that. I could not tell you a single thing about the Buffalo Bills circa 2012. So this is gonna, oh my God, what is wrong with their mascot? Martin at wide receiver there. I'm trying to see who else they get on the team. I, I couldn't tell you who their quarterback is. Their coach looks uh, too swole to control. And they just really didn't get the chest right on this game. Well, they're introducing a defensive people as their star players. So this may not bode well for our run game today. Some of you are probably like, SKS, you should do your homework on this. It's like, eh, just, I'm a Ravens fan. And I'm not a, I was never really a Bills fan. So, sorry for you three Bills fans out there watching. All right, we lost the kick. We What? What am I saying? We lost the coin toss. We uh, have to kick this off. The good thing is, is we'll get it after halftime. So, we'll see what our defense can do here. Parrish is going to bring this one back. And we're going to get through and make a tackle, but he is going to get up near the 25, it looks like. We'll see what our defense can do against this Bills team. I'm, I'm interested to see who is their quarterback at this time. Well, the game could already be over. It is freaking Ryan Fitzpatrick. So if some Fitz magic happens here, we could be in trouble. But a good tackle there on the edge. Oh, and he's hurt. Jarrell, no, he got up. Jarrell Austin. Good tackle coming off the edge there. I thought he was hurt. He rolled over like it. But uh, we'll take that. Good start to the game. Three-yard loss. Been so beat up with injuries this season. That's a throw over the middle. He'll make the catch, and that's going to make it third and short. That's Parrish, so he's going to be one of their playmakers. So we're going to have to buckle up on that one as Fitzpatrick makes the throw. Look how young he looks. Oh, my God. No beard and nothing. We need to stop him here, though. Johnson's going to go in motion. And that's going to be a complete pass, and Marquise Benjamin could not keep it up with him. Fitzpatrick gets him a first down. The trips to the left. I'm going to put one in motion. It's going to be a run around, but we're out there, and Jewett. Oh, man. Deshaun Jewett is there on the tackle, the outside linebacker doing some work. Second and 14 here. We had a guy there. It's a screen. And Benjamin, Marquise Benjamin, is going to make the play there. They're going to get five yards, but this is going to be third and nine, so a better chance for us to buckle down and keep them from getting the first. Third and nine. They're going to run it. And we're going to be there, and we're going to cause a fourth down, and they're going to have to punt this away. Things looking a little bit better. No broken tackles. Really trying to just... Tackle. That's my that's my goal this game is we we got to tackle and not let them break and run. It is the Bills though. Yaman, what are you doing? Okay, good good call there. I was worried though it was going to stop. 
So we'll take over on the 20. Ball here, see if we can get the running game going. That's Nico Carter taking the snap. We've got Portis back there playing quarterback this game. That was three yards, so not bad. We go second and seven. A lot of you gave me a really hard time last week. Uh, we started out so well running the ball, and then I went away from it. We got to get Reeve on the outside. Reeve is not going to shed that tackle, but it is going to be third and three. That is a manageable. We need to push this through and get the first down. They're eking up. We're going to have to really get the line push, and Reeve is not going to get it. No push from the line. We let the backs through, and that is going to seal that drive up right there. Brendan Bangley comes out. Do his job. Try to plant him as deep as we can. Looks like Jamerson Quick is down there. Oh, and he's going to put a big pop on him. And they're going to start at the 34 of their side of the field. First and 10 here. A run. Oh, and we're, get, oh, we're getting so through right now. That was Jarrell Austin again. Real Austin must have had his Wheaties today because he has been getting through the line. Oh, and there's another one! And our linebacker gets through! That was Shaw on the tackle. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. Third and 11. We had to come to the outside. Oh, he's going to make the catch, but again, it's going to be short. They're going to punt. Contained defense holding on here. That was 55. That's Brashton St Satil from Hawaii. Weird as it sounds, Satil is an F like prospect, so they're not expecting him to develop. He figures can get something here, and he's going to lose a couple yards, and we're going to start at the 15. Oh my. First and 10 here. Portis going to fake the handoff. He's going to look. He's going to throw that, and Glass held on to it. Great catch from Glass. And I know a lot of you were really pushing for that, so there was some mobility of Portis. We hit Joe Glass there. He's out of Mississippi State. See if we can get something here. And Reeve, oh, Reeve, oh, he had a big hole there. That's seven yards. Bounced on the outside, and he just couldn't stay on his feet. Good run, though. Again, three, we're going to send Walters in motion. Nico Carter back there. We're going to hand to him, and he's going to get a block. And Nico, oh, he took a big hit, but he does get the first down, and he's happy about it. So no damage. First and 10 here. And Portis is going to throw that. Oh, he had him, but he didn't even look up for it. It was a little short, but I think he could have made the adjustment. Second and 10. They loaded up that one side. Reeve is going to try to push through, not get much there. So it's going to be third and long, and we're in that same situation that we're normally in. Third and nine, Portis. Gonna unload this one. He's got Walters out there. Walters is open. Yes! And it's gonna be, there's no way McGee caught that. McGee with the interception. They're gonna be down at like the two, no, the seven yard line. Wow, what a terrible spot on that one. I mean, if that's kind of like an arm punt, but good grief. First and 10, we've got them. Oh, we got through, and oh, that's a big hit! Wes Shaw getting through. That play was actually designed for a throw. I thought they would try to throw out with Fitzpatrick, but I was wrong. Oh, they're going to get a little bit of breathing space there, but third and 12, we need to protect. We need to get the ball back. Wow, and in quick fashion, the first quarter is over. Cooper zero, Bills nothing. This is an interesting matchup. Back to the second quarter, and yeah, I'm kind of in shock of how that went. 0-0 zero, zero score. We've got them pushed way back. Really need to uh, keep them here. Oh, no! And they're going to have a great home run throw there to Parrish again. <laughs> and, and we're like vice versa this week. Now we can't stop the, th the throw. 55, we had a linebacker covering him. 
Satil just couldn't keep up with him, which makes sense. That was probably an error on my judgment. But oh, we're getting through. Oh, he slipped the tackle. The deal will make that tackle, though. They'll get six yards on the carry. That's Jackson. Is that Fred Jackson? That's not his name, is it? Two out to the right. We're gonna toss. But we got Marcus Doolittle out there who's gonna hit him for a loss. Man, our backs are playing amazing today. I have no idea what's going on. They're trying to really spread us out here. Third and seven gonna throw that and luckily it's off the mark they had a wheel route going poor Fitzpatrick he looks so rough in this game we'll take it 820 left in the first or the first half yeah it is zero zero we're gonna get the ball back here need a block to get one and he almost got past him but we're gonna start about the 26 They're really pushing over on that right side of the field. I'm going to try a screen. And Reeve will dive and he'll not get the first down. We don't even get that. Come on, these officials. Taking it in inches. And Reeve. Oh, he's going to get stood up. And he's going to lose some. And it's going to be a full yard now. 31 here. We really need to get this first down. Curio's going to move over, try to fake him out some. And Reeve is going to push. They're not going to give him anything. Are you serious? So Bangley comes out the punt again. They did come out and measure it. But, of course, it was like a foot short. Come on, boys. This is just a battle of field position right now. First and ten. Go get him, Boyd. Pull him down. Good tackle. Good tackle. Boyd was one we lost a lot through the season. He's a good player. Oh, they're going around. Oh, good Lord. That was a good play. Good play. We crashed the other way. They do not get the first down. These officials really not spotting the ball for either team today. Three and one. We're going to come through, and it looks like he's going to get that. Oh, they're not calling it. I mean, they're celebrating, so obviously the computer knows something. Oh, they get it when they measure. Okay, I see how it is. Home crowd enjoys that. We'll go first and 10. 4.48 till half. Oh, we're going to bust the line again. Oh, he's going to... Oh, they almost broke it. That's what we're working on right there. Anderson on the tackle. That's Tylen Anderson out of Maryland. It's so nice not having to have a quarterback who really scrambles. Oh, he's got... As soon as I say that. But Satil's... Oh, he's going to slide down. I started the tackle way before that. So third and five. Need a big stop here with four to go till half. Oh, we, we chased him out of the pocket. We're going to bring him down for the sack. Uh-oh, there's an injury. Oh, it's one of our guys. And it's Gerald Austin. Come on, game. I am so upset about that. We finally turn a big play. Then our A prospect out of Hampton, Gerald Austin, gets hurt. I hope it's nothing major. Come on, boys. Give me some water. Oh, my own guy held me. Come on. Sean Hunt, what are you doing? We need to get something going. This we, we, we gotta get some points on the board. Oh, there's a good run. Reed bounces to the outside. Ooh, that was some athleticism there. I like that. 19 yards on the day thus far. Second and four. Oh, strain knee will return. Okay, yeah, we're gonna substitute. Second and four. I don't know. He's wide open out there. Reeve makes the catch, and they're going to give him the first down. Wow. Reeve put his body on the line there. Portis kind of left him hanging. 2.23 to go. We've got to get down the field, though. We need a big play. Reeve rolls through. There's another injury timeout. One of theirs. That is the sounds that helps us get down the field before the two-minute warning. 
He's wide open. Go Walters. Go Walters, and he's going to get out of bounds. 11 yards there. Portis, we're kind of on business. We're at the midfield. Oh, what? He didn't get out of bounds? So evidently I was wrong. He didn't get out of bounds, and so I don't see how. We're going to lose time. Portis going to deliver that. Oh, and Williams almost had it. And that's going to make it second down. A minute 56 to go to half. Even a field goal at this point would be major. And Reeve. Oh, Reeve. He could, why did he, like, sidestep? I'm not sure. Third and seven. Third and seven. Portis. Is hit before he throws. I've got to make a decision here. I may go for this. We're going to go for it here. Ask goes in motion. And the ball is so far off target, it doesn't matter. Must have been nervous. They're going to get the ball midfield. And their kicker is warming up here. That's probably... We get lost 20 yards. We really need to get the Patrick here. He get some pressure on him again. He's going to run, and he is going to get pressure, and he goes down. So Marquise Benjamin, I think, was on the sack there. So second and 16, they go into the hurry up. They're really trying to get down here to get a field goal, or maybe they're just going to let it run down. It looks like that's what they're going to do. They're happy with a tie. I may let them do that. And the Bills ended up jumping on their own time-wasting scandal. They're going to try to spread us out here. I'd say the, the, they're going to run this one, obviously. they got to get the clock going again. Oh, Satil! Oh, Satil! Satil is an F prospect, so that kind of shows why that didn't fire. I'm going to stop here. We're going to call a timeout and try to get the ball back. Oh, that's a bad punt. That went out of bounds at like the 40, didn't it? The 30? Oh, come on. First and 10. We got two timeouts. Oh, man, they almost cut. Man, they are just vicious at cutting off throws. Second and 10. And, of course, he's hit on the throw. They call a timeout. I had a guy streaking wide open. And we couldn't get it off. Third and 18. Got plenty of time. Walters not even going to attempt this one. So we're going to punt the ball with 33 seconds left. It's a bad punt, too. We can get to him. Oh, and he's going to slip. Of course he is. And they're going to be in field goal range immediately. Well, if they score here, it's either going to be seven or three. That is on me. And, yeah, they're definitely in field goal range. We had a guy there. He just didn't break for the ball quick enough. Come on, Fitzpatrick, make it. Oh, he held on to that. Clock is running, though. They're having to run up. Well, they call the timeout. Ten seconds. We're going to try to run one play. And we hit him. And he'll go out of bounds. The so seven seconds they picked up a yard. Yeah, yeah, we know. That was a catch. We, we could see. Actually, they moved him up to the five-yard line. And they're going to get a touchdown out of this. Oh, that was the worst case scenario. And of course it's going to happen. The Bills shock us right before half, and it's totally on me. Oh, we played such a good half. And I give them the ball back with great field position. That is, that is on me. Might as well come out of here and just yank this one and see what happens. Portis going to throw this. He's actually got some distance. Oh, my God. He caught. No, he dropped it. 
That would have been exciting. So we played a great half of football. Just a mental lapse there at the end. May cost us the game. Get the ball back. We go in. We're only down seven for the Bills. All right, we're getting ready to start the second half, and it is only 7 nothing. We just got to hope that the team keeps the morale up. Figures has got some blocks here. We're going to start at the 20. <laughs> get back to the 20. We can never get past the 20. The plan here would be to come out. We need to just kick them in the teeth, tie this game up, and Reeve is going to get held back. He'll get nothing on that. I am... Second and ten. Glass is going to go in motion. Make the hand off the Reeve. Or is he going to throw an interception to Bird? And that is not how we wanted to start the second half off. And we're starting to look like the old Coopers. I swear I've ran that play three times. And all three times. Good hit there. That'll hold him to two yards. That's Jewett. Good to see him back in there. But all three times I've ran it, it's been an interception. So I don't know if just certain plays are programmed bad. Oh, it was Fred Jackson. But what I mean by programmed bad is, is it like if you don't throw it at the exact moment, it's going to be an interception. Oh, and it's a fumble! Jewett's going to pick it up! Oh, man! Oh, what a hit on Fitzpatrick. He coughs it up. That Jewett will pick it up and go. We get the ball right back. That was something kind of amazing. I did not think that would happen. Reeve, he's going to try to push through. We're just not getting the run game established. Bird's coming up there and stuffing us. Picking it on. And that's going to be picked off by McKill. Are you serious? That's going to be a pick six, isn't it? It's just like the computer knew that I looked at the one dude and was like, I'm not going to throw to it, and immediately broke off of him. Oh, we blocked the extra point. Oh, my God. We're doing so much right, but yet we've done two big mistakes. Come on, offense. We've got to get the offense out here on the field, and it's got to do something. I don't know what I can do to... <sighs> He's going to be back at the 22. 21. Ooh. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do to really get us going. Nobody's there for the screen. They, they just tripped him, and that was it. And 10. That's almost picked off. I mean, they, these these linebackers just glue to the route, and that's it. We're 0-5 on third downs. He is open. Why did he throw it so far down the field? If he would have went short, he would have had it, but it's going to force a punt. If I go back and watch that, and I could have just ran for the first down, I'm probably going to be sick of myself because I feel like that could have been... A scenario, but we're going to get it on the other side of the midfield, but we've got to stop. We've got to stop. I have put all the pressure on my defense today, and they have played admirably, and we have nothing to really show for them. Satil, come on, bring him down. Man, he broke so many tackles. Jewett had to come up and do it. Jewett has been everywhere today. We had oh why did what why why would Franklin even get selected? I was switching to the dude getting ready to try to sack Fitzpatrick, and it switched me to the guy out there. And of course we're gonna lose. <sighs> this game just viciously makes me angry. It's so different from NCAA football. Just the way that it selects characters or players and stuff. That's going to be another touchdown. 20 to nothing, possibly 21 if they go for two. And they are. They're going to try to make it a three-score game. I threw that line, and Fitzpatrick's going to just walk in. 
I love that my player got through and I could have sacked, but for some reason he jumped. I don't know. I've got auto strafe off, but I swear they still will jump to the side and he got behind his own blocker. There are going to be some bad transitions in this video edit because I'm talking in between like plays, which I shouldn't. Uh, just It makes me so mad. Figures. Oh, figures. Good run there. He looked like he just automatically ran out of steam. We're going to start at the 33, though. I just don't know what to get going here. And even on the slant, we made the completion, but like they were just right there. Perseverance, 518 left in the third. And Reeve, Reeve, oh, he's got oh, there's a flag on the play. It's gotta be a face mask, right? There we go. Move us upfield. We'll take that. First to ten here. Portis. And dump that one. And it's picked off. Why? Why could he not go for that? Was that Lingford Smith? It is. He is the laziest receiver on a team. The ball was right there, and he doesn't even go for it. I love the fact that we were pushing downfield, and all of a sudden the wheels just come off. That last play was another like thing that just is so bad about our team, and I'm really going to have to think about it, is on just a regular throw or a regular run, Franklin was going to light that whole boy's world up, and he just didn't do it. I even hit the power stick, and they make the catch. We're in, we're in the danger time now. We, uh, we've got to stop. But what I was saying is they can run up the middle, and they'll pick up three, four yards on a run when we don't move the line. And here we go. Here we go. Circus show time from the computer. It's just like they smell blood, and it's like, oh, you played a perfect game? Well, we're going to learn now. God, we played such a good first half. There's a big hit. Jewett again. Jewett just destroys him. He's he, We've got to keep him around. After the encroachment penalty, it's second and goal now. He's going to run around. Pull him down. And they're giving him the touchdown. Oh, my God. It's getting ugly now. Twenty-eight nothing. We come out playing so well, and then the computer in the third quarter has just lit our world up. Really creeping up here. We should be able to go over the top of them. And we do. Langford Smith there. That was the perfect call. 11 yards. That's the thing that also like infuriates me on this game. It's like, I'll read the defense. Oh, and there's Smith again. Good catch. Like I'll, but that those two plays are the 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 opposite of what normally happens. Usually I'll read the defense and know what's going to happen and they'll still like they'll know what to do. And what I mean by that is they'll be able to counter like whatever I'm going to run. Like that. Like he 90 like Jumped five yards to make that play. We're gonna put Heinzman in motion here. We're gonna try to toss. We needed one more blocker over there. Reeves gonna get eight up for he get two yards. The third and eight. Oh and six on third downs. It's gonna be oh and seven. We have to go for it. Fourth than 11, we're just going to try to go for it here. Put Walters in motion. And he's going to get... We have no offensive line protection there. So, yeah, the computer just really smells blood at this point. And, uh, yeah, we're in trouble. Ryan Fitzpatrick has completed seven passes in a row. So, yeah, the computer goes from playing like crap to immediately just kicking it in. Oh, they're going to start breaking tackles? Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Should run out the third quarter. We go to the fourth, and it's 28 to nothing. Home crowd here is very happy. Bills lead 28 0. The Coopers, though, had a great first half. Know where they're going. Can we stop him? Oh, I think we did. 
Fourth and one. Satil comes up there. Six tackles on the day. I would say the only thing that I've really not done today that I wanted to is to roll out Portis. But there's just not a lot of plays that call for that. And even when I do, they cover so well. The one thing we really needed against the Bills today was to establish a run game. Oh, of course, the fourth quarter, we're going to get some run yards. But we need that in the first half. Portis should have room to run here. And he's going to be hit before he throws. Like, I don't, it's such a slow animation to throw the ball. Like, Tim Tebow slow. Third and two. We really need to get the ball here. Right, we should have the first down and more. Reeve, good, good run upfield there. Go first and ten here. Ass goes in motion. Nico Carter is going to get hung up. See, there, there's the difference. They hit a play like that, they're going to get three or four every time we lose on those. Rio is going to go in motion. Take the handoff. He's, oh, oh, so, come on! Oh, that's such bunk. Perfect route, perfect play, and of course the guy jumps out of nowhere. They've left the middle open. Oh, they just sent somebody back. Quick throw. And he holds on to it. Smith is doing well today. Another interception. There's a flag on the play. I don't know if it's going to be like... Oh, is he going to really run this back? Thank the heavens. That may be the first time all season they have called that. Oh my god, they come off their blocks so fast. We get three yards there. We really need to get in this end zone here. Oh man, Heinzman almost had that. Third and seven. I threw it to the wrong person. Well, Hunter Gibson out here, and he's going to put us some points on the board. So we don't go away with a goose egg. That's nice, but I should have had a touchdown, but I hit the wrong button. All right, so that's the end of the game. Like I said, there is a lot to hang our hat on here. The Bills do come away with a win. We're going to drop to 0-7, but... I do think that the team played a little bit better. I, I'm just a person who, if you've watched my NCAA, I love to establish a run and then you pass around it. I cannot pass on this game. And I, I blame Stevie Myers at first, and then Portis has had some good throws. It's, I'm a little bit more accurate with him. But, like, I throw right to the defender so many times, and I don't know how to go about not doing that at this point. I've not figured out that click on how to get through the linebackers. We did have another season-ending injury for a defend. Uh, it was a defensive tackle, so we're kind of we'll probably have to sign somebody at the bottom of the barrel for that position. So the odds are really stacking against us. We're playing better, but not not good enough. All right, so just looking at our quarterback, Portis went nine for twenty-nine for one hundred twenty-one yards. That's that's not bad. A five-point-eight rating. Yeah, I'm sure it's because of the uh, yeah four interceptions. Um. I'm sure when we look at who had these interceptions, there's going to be, what, one corner that had one, maybe? Uh, yeah. We look at Reeve. He had 17 attempts for 60 yards. Nico Carter, four for nine. We didn't even see Terrell in there because um, we never had a short third down run conversion. So I, I just I don't know. I felt like the receivers did decent today. Langford Smith, who I usually get on, 55 yards on three catches. Uh, Reeve had three for 33. Uh, Kenyon Walters. Joe Glass with that one big catch. Like uh, Brashton Satil and Marquise Benjamin with the most tackles today. Got Franklin. Deshaun Jewett was all over the place. Seven total tackles. One for a loss. 
did have that fumble recovery. Who caused the fumble? Oh, it was Satil. So yeah, Bastion Satil really showing up today. So evidently, I'm the biggest idiot in the world, and I've made all these bold claims about linebackers who smacked the ball down and intercepted. And then I want you to look at who made these interceptions. Cornerback, cornerback, safety, free safety. I'm just going to go tuck my head because I'm an idiot. All right, so I just wanted to do a little update on the injury report. We've still got Lawrence. We'll get him back next week, which will be good. Not this week for the game because I've already went to the next week, but Lawrence will be back next week. So we're going to be probably have to sign another defensive tackle. But, yeah, A.C. Cobbs is out three weeks with that labrum. We'll get P.J. Strong back, and then we've lost Diggs for the rest of the season. So rough, rough time. We do have the 49ers coming up in the next game. Curious. Oh, they don't have Alex Smith for the game. That could be interesting. So I'm not even sure who their backup is. But that is our next game. We'll have the San Francisco 49ers coming here to Louisville, Kentucky to take on the Coopers of Bourbon City. I think there's a chance. With their quarterback out, they're going to have a backup. I'm not sure who their other quarterback is. Let's just look at this now for a little sneak peek preview. Troy Smith. He, was he Ohio State? Well, I can't look on here to see where he's from. I knew he played for Baltimore, but like... I can't remember. He is trigger happy if we can get to him, but he's... Conservative on forced passes. He does have confidence right now. He does sometimes tuck and run. Um, yeah, that's this is doable. This is doable. Oh, they've got Colin Kaepernick on the bench too. Oh, man, he may be the starter instead of Troy Smith. So I don't know. This could be interesting. But as always, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I think we put together a decent game. It looks like a, it was a score. We put three points on the board. We should have had more. Just four turnovers. We've got to draft a quarterback going forward. I know that. And we've got to get on offensive line. But until then, we're going to play with what we got on this cupcake rebuild. But as always, hit that like button. Hope you liked the video. God bless. I will see you all next time. Good night, gamers. A very special thanks for these May Patreon supporters. If supporters were a bowling alley, I would roll my balls up and down them. Party Commissar, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Cortez, Zachary McKinley, and Nicholas Absher.